Hello, hello, and welcome. This is Luba the Hundreds from On the Bro Gaming, bringing you part one of my Apex merch review series. This one concentrates on t shirts. Now, the site itself doesn't have many reviews, and I figure since I've bought so much stuff, you know, why not help anyone out that was thinking about getting something or maybe curious on how it fits? So, for this review, I actually developed a simple rating system in which I look at the materials and durability of each item, compare it to the online description, and let you know if these items are actually worth it or not. Keep in mind, this is just my opinion, so buy what you will. Now, real quick before we start, this online store does change up their item availability due to stock, demand, or limited editions, what have you, but I've taken screenshots of their name and prices should they ever come back to the store. And I really, really hope some of these items do return. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Alrighty, first up we have the Loba Dress to Kill t-shirt. This shirt is one of my favorites and I've worn it and washed it many a times and is actually one I'm hoping to reorder. And luckily it is still up on the site for purchase for the price of $22.95. Now in shirts I do wear a size 2XL and this shirt is made out of I guess the same 100% combined cotton or whatever they have listed on most of these shirts on the site and it actually has a nice little bit of flex to it. Sometimes even though the site will say they're all made out of the same material, there are some inconsistencies uh, within the black shirts I've noticed but that's something I'm getting into later on in the video. But yeah, you can see here that the print holds up, you know, relatively well. And again, considering I have worn and washed this shirt many a times, there are some cracks and, you know, flaking of the print happening in certain areas, but overall it's, you know, holding up relatively well. And this particular style of shirt is actually available in, if not all, many of the legends. And they each have their own little distinct color, um, little monochromatic image in the front, and then a full on color print of the legend in the back. Now there are some spots here and there that kind of get lost, especially with the uh, wear and tear, but overall, if it's of your favorite legend, it works great. Love these types of shirts. I did actually purchase a size 3XL uh, shirt for one of my friends that's actually 6'2", and it fits him just fine. Overall, for materials and durability, I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 5. As the materials can be a little inconsistent in between uh, one shirt to another. Again, I've bought several of these, um, but the price itself is actually pretty good. You know, 20 bucks. And considering you can get it in any of your favorite legends, I definitely say this is worth it. Next up, we have another one of my faves, the Apex Loba Short Sleeve. Now, this one is one of those items that are no longer on the official EA store, but here I have the screenshot of it. It was priced at $16.95. Yeah, pretty crazy, right? Considering most of the store is like $20, $25 and up. But overall, I was super impressed by the quality of this shirt. This shirt is super soft and reasonably stretchy. Even with the detailed print, um, there has been really no cracking or flaking at all compared to some of the other shirts I have here. The front has this really cool image of Loba with a little bio detail on the front. There's actually a lot better legibility than kind of the other paragraph from the other shirt. Now, because this item is no longer on the store, I kind of don't know exactly what material this was marketed as containing, but it seems to be having the same amount of you know, 100% cotton as the other shirt earlier, but it kind of has a bit of a discrepancy there once you actually feel the physical shirt. But again, I'll discuss this later in the video. Overall, I love the design and rich fabric of the shirt, giving it a five out of five for materials and definitely a five out of five for price. This shirt is totally worth it.
Next up, we have everyone's favorite murder bot, Revnet, with the Apex Revnet Built For t-shirt. This shirt is still available on the Apex store for $22.95. Just like many of the other shirts in this series, it has this cool monochromatic image of the legend in front with a brief little paragraph of their story and on the back has this really sweet uh, full color image along with, again, a little kind of bullet pointed bio that you often see on the website. This shirt is probably the most worn shirt I have out of all the bunch and you can definitely tell um, once you get a good look at the artwork here. There's various cracks and flaking on the print, especially on the back full color part of the shirt, um, which is surprising since the front is actually holding up relatively well. Overall, for how much I've actually worn this shirt, it's actually holding up relatively well. Sure, there might be quite a bit of wear and tear, but I guess it just comes with the territory. Again, I'll talk about more about materials later on in the video. For materials, I'll give this a 3 out of 5, and for pricing, 4 out of 5. Again, with this particular shirt, you can find it with any other legend, so overall, I think it's definitely worth it. Next up, we have our favorite Apex Legends ladies with the Apex Legends Squad t-shirt. This is one of my favorite t-shirts, but unfortunately is another one of those that is no longer currently on the EA official merch site. But when it was, it actually was the same price as all the other shirts, $22.95. I love this shirt and actually have worn it quite a bit and surprisingly it isn't kind of flaking or cracking as much as some of the other shirts on here. Again, not quite sure what this discrepancy is on that, but I have my theories later on in the video. This shirt, just like most of the other dark shirts on here, have quite a bit of stretch to them and falls really nicely, super soft, and has great rich color for the graphics. Again, not really sure what the discrepancy is on here, but this shirt seems to have a richer black and seems to be just a touch stretchier than some of the other dark shirts. Overall, I'll definitely give this one a five out of five for materials, the comfort, and the richness of the black is just chef's kiss. And for price, I'm going to have to give it a 4 to 5 just because it is the same as all the other shirts on the store. But overall, this shirt is so worth it. Really hope it comes back on the store. One of my favorite spooky limited items, the Bangalore La Catrina t-shirt. Needless to say, this is no longer in the store, but I imagine it's the same materials as some of the other special edition t-shirts that kind of go in to the store once in a while, at least I think. <laughs> but overall, the print on the shirt and the material itself is very similar to much of the other black shirts on the store. I will say though, out of all the other black 100% cotton shirts, this one feels the most stiff and a little itchy and some of the other materials. Overall though, if you're digging some of these limited edition items, definitely pick it up. Sometimes the material might be a little different. Again, it is a limited item, so not sure how they outsource that. But if it's your favorite legend and you really want to grab it, definitely go for it. For materials, I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 5. And for price, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5, since generally speaking, these are either the same price or a little bit pricier than regular shirts. Overall, I'd say this limited edition Bangalore shirt is worth it. These shirts are the most comfortable shirts you will ever wear. We got the Caustic Line Art t-shirt and the Bloodhound Line Art t-shirt. Let's go. These were so comfy, I kid you not, I wore it for three days straight. Don't ask me why or how. It's super comfy. I had to get one for my dad too. As of now, uh, they don't have the Bloodhound one available. I believe they still have the Caustic, Bangalore, and Gibraltar ones up. But I would still check their uh, site in case you want a specific one since their stock changes frequently. But generally speaking, these are the same price as all the other shirts, $22.95. Again, in terms of materials, this inconsistency with the description online versus the actual shirt itself is popping up again. 
I'll discuss later on in the video, but essentially the site is saying that this particular gray shirt is the same material as the Revenant shirt that I showed earlier, which just upon looking at this one, you can totally tell it's, uh, it's a different material than the other one. And I will add as a little side note that if you want your shirt to be a little more loose fitting, this shirt does come just a tad smaller, so I would recommend just sizing it up one. Overall, for materials, this one definitely gets a 5 out of 5. And for price, uh, yeah, 5 out of 5. It is so worth it. Please pick one up. It's super comfy. You won't regret it. Another one of the Super Soft League, we have the Bloodhound Battle Royale t-shirt. Now, this one, I believe, is in a series of three or four other ones, uh, still coming in at the standard $22.95. There is also a Horizon one, a Caustic one, and a Bangalore one, I believe. So overall, this shirt has kind of a very minimalistic design on the front, which I really dig, as well as having that same design of the paragraph that goes over the legend story and background. Now I will say with the online description of the shirt, it is the same generic materials that is listed as on all the other shirts, but these specific shirts actually feel a lot softer than the other ones, which again, I'll discuss later about that. Overall for materials, I'll definitely give this one a five out of five and the pricing, you know, it's generic, but considering these are kind of like their own mini series, I think actually pushes it up to give it a five out of five for pricing because you kind of get a little bit more bang for your buck in terms of materials and overall design. Alrighty, next we have the Horizon Battle Royale t-shirt, which is the same in the series that the Bloodhound one was just in, $22.95. Really vibrant, super duper soft. Again, Love the shirts, little minimalist design in the front. Very cool, list the name of the legend right there with the sigil. With the back, really nice graphic of the ultimate of the legend. This one has a little nudie on it, love it. These shirts are really soft and I highly recommend, especially if this series highlights one of your mains. Really cool shirt that's distinct from the regular shirts. Most of the shirts on the site are either black or gray. Mostly leaning towards black, but these are very vibrant. And if they're not vibrant as the Bloodhound or Horizon one, the Bangalore and Caustic one have just as much attention to detail and uh, have that really neat graphic on the back. Again, I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 5 for materials for that super soft cotton. And then 5 out of 5 for price since these really do feel like a limited edition item even though it's priced like any other shirt on this site highly recommend and totally worth it last of the short sleeves here i do have the apex call you a legend t-shirt now this shirt i kind of got in a whim because i've seen it a lot in the store and it's very minimalist it looked super soft i thought it was going to be in the same league as the gray shirts but you know the online store isn't really descriptive on the materials i kind of had high hopes for this one especially considering it's just the one little uh, graphic with the vertical text on the front and just like nothing in the back or front besides that but once it came in the material actually seemed a lot thinner than a lot of the other shirts i received if anything it seemed the thinnest out of all the shirts it's nice if you're using it as a little accent piece, as a little, you know, stylistic choice because you want something cool and minimalist with it. But in general, if you're paying just as much for a really cool Apex, you know, fully printed shirt, I would honestly kind of skip this one. For materials, I'm actually going to give this one a 2 out of 5 just because it's super thin and... The actual print itself is super tiny, and considering it's the same price as some of the other shirts I've already showed, I'm gonna give this one a 2 for pricing as well. Alrighty, now we can talk about all these little discrepancies within the shirts. Now, if you look at the description, most if not all of the items are either 100% cotton or 100% cotton ring spun premium jersey, I believe. And you know, considering they're all the same descriptive material, you would think you'd get the same type of shirt. But in my experience with purchasing 
mostly a variety of black shirts. The level of darkness and richness of the color actually varies quite a bit from shirt to shirt. For instance, the Bangalore one I remember distinctly out of the bag came a little bit uh, paler, a little bit more of like a charcoal uh, instead of like a nice full rich black like uh, that Loba shirt with the white and red on it. Same thing in terms of softness of the shirt. They're all supposed to be the same material, but definitely you can feel the difference once you actually put on the shirt. Especially if you're going into it thinking you're gonna get the same type of shirt. But also, let's say you're a little more sensitive to textures and materials, that can definitely throw you for a loop if you're not expecting it. This can just be me being nitpicky and I totally get if, you know, EA is working with different shirt vendors and they have the same kind of title of a premium jersey t-shirt and they happen to be actually a little different depending on what materials they're working with, stock they have available. I get that, but just a little more transparency in terms of how the shirts vary in softness would be helpful. Overall though, if I'm rating these from scratchy to super soft, I would put the Bangalore limited edition shirt in the bottom tier, moving on to the regular black shirts of the Legends as kind of like your base standard, relatively soft shirt. Then moving up to more of the nicer, softer shirts would be that black Loba shirt with the red on it. And then all the way up to more of the premium softness, I would definitely put the Bloodhound red shirt and the Horizon shirt. And then of course, number one with the super softness scale is those gray shirts. Again, all if not most of these shirts are considered to be the same exact material. And if you look at the tags and, you know, combine them with the description on the site, they should all be matching up. But for whatever reason, when you actually wear them, they don't all feel the same. What I'm trying to get at with this video is just to show everyone what to expect when they're ordering a shirt. And some of these shirts are still on the site, if not have kind of like a variety of other types of design you can put on it. And I'm just here to give any tips about what to expect when you buy these shirts since they can add up to be a pretty penny. And that's all I have in regards to part one of this Apex merchandise review video. Again, thank everyone for watching. Uh, I really hope this helps anyone out that was curious about getting one of these items. I know um, the holiday season is approaching, so again, hopefully answered any questions about that. If anyone has any additional questions, please feel free to comment on the video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I am making, again, a part two that focuses on long sleeves, hoodies, jackets, um, hats, and kind of like other accessories like that. So that will be coming out soon. Um, I do have other items that are from like Apex affiliated links. I'm not really sure what the proper terminology is for that, but basically, you know, when Apex puts on their Twitter, like, hey, new merch just dropped, and it's like links to these other sites that are um, not the official EA site. So if anyone wants to see some of that, maybe that can be like a part three to this series. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Have fun, um, all you legends, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.